If it wouldn't have been for that cell phone, he probably wouldn't have hit me. I was going to the park on a stressful day to fly a kite to relieve some stress. It was a beautiful day, it was June, and uh, I was flying a kite, and I was leaving the park on my way home, going across a crosswalk, and I noticed a car approaching. I seen him coming, so I didn't just go straight in the crosswalk. You know, I seen him coming. I knew he had a stop sign, but not everybody stops. You know, it's, a, it's just a precaution now you have to take. You never know. And he was coming around the, a corner. I seen he was traveling. He wasn't speeding. I, I noticed that he did slow down. So I'm assuming he's gonna stop. I approached the crosswalk and I'm, I'm riding my uh, bike and I look down and I can clearly see he's looking into a, what I assume is a, is a device. Next thing I know, boom, he hit me. See, after he hit me, he said he was gonna leave. He said he, he had to leave. I said, you know, you can't leave the scene of an accident. You just hit me. And he didn't give me too much information. And then one, when the police officer arrived, he told the police officer that he was an Uber driver. I think there should be a lot more awareness. There's nothing worse than a cell phone driver. Very dangerous. We're told a 27-year-old man from Holt was distracted behind the wheel of a Dodge Ram pickup and hit a car from behind. The 35-year-old woman from Ohio driving that car and a five-year-old girl in the back seat were killed. That's sad. <laughs> That's what I'm scared of right there. That's why people shouldn't be on their system. You can never be good at texting and driving. I don't care how good you are, how fast you think you could type. It's one second. If you're traveling at 60 miles an hour on the expressway, you travel the length of a football field in three seconds. That's real. And there should be zero tolerance. There should be a thousand dollar fine, six months suspension, whatever, you know, it should be severe. All I can say is this is dangerous, man. It's gotta stop. That's all I can say.